the, the way I look at therapy for patients with lupus nephritis and autoimmune diseases and, and glomerular diseases in general, this is a very heterogeneous population. And even though we histologically say a person, for example, has class four lupus nephritis, um, it's not only conceivable, we have data suggesting that there's a lot of ways uh, pathogenetically to get to that pathway to get to that histology so the pathways of injury are different and what I think we really need in nephrology is an armamentarium of drugs that target specific pathways in a disease process and eventually what I want to be able to do and and we'll talk about this more later this afternoon in some of the sessions here at the ASN is is using the kidney biopsy and the patient's clinical um, uh, uh, parameters is to understand what pathways are activated in an individual patient and then target the drug for that pathway. So we know that if, I, if we dissect the kidney biopsy that we do to make a diagnosis of lupus nephritis and uh, look at the transcripts that are uh, uh, expressed, we find patients that have an interferon pathway activated, patients that have B cell pathways activated, uh, patients that have uh, T cell pathways activated. So you can see that coming down the road, if I have a drug like obinutuzumab available, and I can analyze the patient as I make the diagnosis on a molecular level and that patient seems to have a very strong B cell signal in their kidney, my first choice could be this drug. And, and why is that important? That's important because if I can use this drug, and now I'm being very theoretical here, and not a lot of other things that have a lot of other side effects, I can treat the patients, hopefully get them into remission with a minimum of adverse events. And, and I, I guess I really should mention this, what was maybe surprising was even though with more B cell uh, depletion in the obinutuzumab group, we found that the uh, safety profile was as good as, in other words, it was not adding risk to the patient in terms of adverse events. And I think that's the key. When we start targeting very narrow specific pathways in patients with glomerular disease, I think in the end we're going to see much more complete responses because we're hitting the pathway that's activated at that time in the patient and at the same time we're doing it in a way where we're not killing the rest of the immune system and the patient can respond to infection and that sort of thing and uh, they don't develop bad side effects. Uh, so ultimately I think that's what's needed in nephrology.